Hello YouTube, it's Ryan here with Hobbies of Man. Once again, and today we are going to be talking about my manga collecting goals for 2022. This is going to be the end of year review, the Q4 review, you know, whatever you want to call it. It's um the last kind of time that I look at this and kind of guess, uh, well not guess, I, I kind of um, look at how I did and try to come up with ways to make this better, which will be part of my 2023 manga collecting goals. So. Um, next year, I probably will also combine collecting goals with reading goals, and I'll have some sort of like, uh, you know, uh, mega TBR list, and I'll run down that list as well. Um, but today, we're only looking at the collecting goals for 2022. I had a few different goals. I wanted to stay consistent with continuing and finishing older series or older releases that are, you know, well underway. I wanted to keep up with new releases. I wanted to collect some more collector editions. I wanted to check out some new manga and I wanted to continue to do collecting for some Spanish manga as well. And um, generally speaking, I would say that I have like, if I were to score myself, I would score myself at like a 60 out of 100 or a six out of 10. I did well enough, but I didn't do that great in certain areas. So um, let's go down the list. In terms of staying consistent, uh, where I was looking to continue and finish older releases and try my best to do everything I could to continue to buy those. Um, I managed to succeed when it came to Vinland Saga, Drifting Dragons, um, and I think that's it actually. Um, then I failed at No Guns Life. I have seven books left in that series. I failed at Monster. Again, I have seven books left in that series because, well, I never find them physically. And I'm not really a fan of um, of um, of buying things online. Usually, I prefer to buy them in store. Um, then I didn't really keep up with Glibnir. I did buy two volumes over the course of the year, but um, I'm still sitting at four out of thirteen. I think that there are. So there's a failure there. I didn't finish collecting anything for Flowers of Evil. I only have the first volume that I reviewed a while back. Um, I have not bought any uh, Bride Story either, so that's definitely a priority for next year. Um, I finished up Dr Drifting Dragons, which I already mentioned, and uh, I am only missing two volumes of Witch Hand Atelier, uh, which is really good. I actually did a great job with this one specifically because um, I started the year off with three volumes, and uh, now I'm at eight, which is great. I, I am very happy with that, and uh, hopefully, over a winter break, uh, over the holidays, I can buy the last two so that I can start off the year, uh, you know, with that completed. In terms of low priority stuff, um, I have not collected anything new from Two Love Rue. I removed Rent a Girlfriend from my list. I'm not interested in collecting it anymore. I did not keep up with Gal Gohan. Uh, Tomo Chan, I'm still interested in collecting it, but I am removing it from my currently collecting pile and moving it to my will collect some other day. Uh, pile, which means I'm going to move it back to my parents' house and I'll leave it there until I decide to change my mind. Uh, Wrecking of the Rose King and Prince Freya are still things I currently want to collect, but they're very, 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 very low priority. I don't really mind waiting forever to buy more volumes of this, but I have them over here uh, in my bookshelf here, just, uh, just in case I ever uh, find a volume and I feel like getting it that day, I'll pick it up. In terms of current releases, um, I did a pretty good job with Kaiju number 8. I'm completely caught up. Uh, I'm two volumes behind on Mashal, so I did okay with Mashal. Um, Furry Sun and Hitomi Chan, I'm uh, pretty far behind on. I'm missing two uh, Hitomi Chan volumes and one Furry Sun volume, but um, the thing is that uh, we basically caught up to Japan already, so uh, the next volumes don't come out until July and September next year. So um, I have seven months or so to catch up to these. Uh, so they're low priority, basically. Uh, I kept up with Eden Zero and Record of Ragnarok for sure. I did a good job with them, um, which is really, really good. Uh, I'm behind on Soul Leveling. I'm two novels behind, and I think I'm four novels behind on Reign of the Seven Spellblades. That's all right. Um, Reign of the Seven Spellblades has been moved down to, um, I will collect later. So I'll, I'll send that back to my parents' house. Uh, and then I kept up with Gunbird Sisters. I have two out of the four volumes that are supposed to come out of that already. And uh, 
my boss is a sheep, but I, I'm a wolf while my boss is a sheep. I'm one behind on. Um, the second one just came out a few days ago. So uh, I'm definitely going to try to pick that up during the, things, the, the, during the holiday break. And if I do, uh, I'm caught up. And if I don't, well, I failed. So it, it's not that big a deal. In terms of collector's editions, I failed completely. I didn't buy any new collector editions this uh, year at all. However, uh, my roommate gave me uh, Lupin the Third at the beginning of the year. And just yesterday, he gave me the Christmas gift that he got me uh, this year, which was actually a Captain Harlock copy. So I already had it. So he told me he was going to get me a different thing. And uh, hopefully, uh, <laughs> he gets me either Kamen Rider or Devil Man, which would be pretty cool. But either way, it doesn't really matter. Um, uh, I'll appreciate anything he gets me. But, uh, you know, he did say he was going to be around the same kind of thing. So uh, I'm guessing it's going to be one of those. Uh, I completely failed that J Novel Club. In terms of new manga, I definitely bought one volume of Pokemon Adventures, but I did not buy Pluto. However, I did buy a bunch of other stuff. Um, I bought Di Dinosaur Sanctuary, uh, Crazy Food Truck. Um, what else? I, I bought a few other things, actually. I just don't remember them off the top of my head. A Shy, Kuga, um, stuff like that. So uh, I did a pretty good job with this one. And in terms of Spanish manga from Spain, I bought three more volumes of sunken rock which is good um i'm two behind i think and uh from mexico i uh i'm three behind on adam uh there's 17 uh volumes total and i have up to 14 however i don't physically own them right now they're at my grandma's house so um if she goes it, it, they're not going to come to visit us this year for christmas and we're not going to go visit them but um if my uncle goes and visits his uh his wife's uh, family in laredo they might <laughs> Uh, be able to send me my books uh, you know if they cross the border they might be able to send me my books so I might be able to get them and if I don't it's fine I'll get them next year uh, in July I guess but uh, hopefully <laughs> uh, they're able to send them to me so I can get those uh, volumes of, of Adam but also the 10 other volumes of, um, of Saint Seiya that I ordered because I officially have bought everything from the Saint Seiya Kansenban edition I just don't have them in my hands yet so hopefully i'm able to do that but yeah um overall pretty good stuff uh, i think i did a pretty good job um like i said i'd give myself a six out of ten um because well i i wasn't the best at stuff like this i uh, did manage to catch up the things that i didn't have on my list like dress up darling um but it, it's it's not the same right i <laughs> uh i caught up to them on a whim it wasn't necessarily like I planned it, so it's different from what I originally planned, but um, it's pretty good. I, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I do think that my strategies are going to change it a little bit, but I just haven't really figured out how I'm going to change them yet, so I'll figure it out later. But overall, I had a good year. I had a lot of good stuff that I bought, and I'm very happy with my purchases and with the things that I am hauled if I unhauled anything, and the things that um, you know, I got this year that I wasn't planning on because all of it brought me joy. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a, uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you liked about it. And um, also let me know if you guys had any plans this year and if you did accomplish them or not. And, uh, yeah, thank you guys very much for watching. See you guys later.